The SMY Invitational is coming up this weekend. Cardozo High is once again involved, and Coach Ron DeClaro is here. Our sideline reporter for the big event, Alexa Dat, is with him to talk about the Invitational, Dr. Martin Luther King. Alexa. Jonas, thank you so much. Coach, thanks for being here in our SMY studios. No problem. The only thing is coming up here, taking away because I have to run back down to scout Long Island Luther with my opponent Friday night in a little while. Let's start with junior guard Ray Salnave. Talk to me about how powerful he is, how important he is of a player for you. I told Ray, all of the players that I've ever coached, I've coached NBA players, I have the most confidence in you than in any player I've ever coached. And I think that's a big statement because Ray still has a year and a half left with me. He still has the second half of his junior year and his whole senior year. And Ray was a pivotal part of you guys winning the city title last spring. Is it true that you in your hotel room down in Florida watched tape of Michigan State and Coach Tom Izzo's team and used some of those plays in order for you guys to get to the city title? You know, every year I go to Florida, I need a downtime right after the season, and uh, I take a lot of the coaching tapes. And Tom Izzo had a tape where, you know, all coaches borrow or legally steal. <laughs> and there were a couple of things that he did, two plays we put in and two plays that we put in, we tweaked the end, and we ran those plays for the type of team we have, and we're still running those plays. And, you know, I'm glad I got that tape. <laughs> are we going to see any of those plays in the SMI Invitational? You will, but I don't want to say what they are right now. Okay. The other three coaches might be watching. You actually have a little bit of a rap yourself, I think I heard, right? So give me a little taste, just uh, a little I'm bit, I'm a little into it, but, uh, People see me coach, they say I'm bugged, I'm hyper, I'm totally crazy. If I would have done this 20 years ago, I would have been Jay-Z. <laughs> wow, very nice. I love that. All right, speaking of different lives that you've changed and how passionate you are, you credit a lot of that to your father and how big of a role he played in your life. And because we're celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day today, tell me the story about your father and Dr. Martin Luther King back in September of 1958. Uh, my mother and father were going to a wedding at Waldorf Astoria. And I don't know how they did it in those days, but he was on call at Harlem Hospital, got a call, rushed in to Harlem Hospital. There were two doctors there that were hemming and horn because they knew the person who was on the operating table was a cough or a sneeze away from death. My father quickly assessed the situation, realized, hey, somebody got to grab the bull by the horns, quickly removed two ribs, got the letter open out, uh, saved the man's life. The following morning, he got up early to change the person's dressing, and some paparazzi snuck in, took a picture, and the picture went viral, and three and a half months later, we got a letter, and it was from Dr. Martin Luther King thanking my father for saving his life. What was amazing was October 23rd this past year, his oldest son, Martin III, came up from Atlanta to meet me at Cardoza High School. And what was amazing was it was in the auditorium, and the oldest son talked about how grateful they are to my father and the McClario family, because if my father didn't do what he did, he would never have known his father. He was only 11 months old when this happened, and he was 11 years old when his father was assassinated, but he got a chance to know his father, and he actually said, my father, by doing what he did, save the civil rights movement. Coach, thank you so much for sharing that on Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Uh, it means a lot for you to come in here to the SMY studios, and we will see you this weekend in the SMY Invitational. Good luck. That's and what you need. You need a little luck. That's right, and thank you for coming in.